Tmux looks much better without installing a theme and instead just applying a few style tweaks here and there. That's kind of my hot take for today, so let me show you what I mean by that. Here we have an example of the Nord theme. I'm actually a huge fan of the Nord color palette, it's one of my favorites, but the reason I'm not a fan of this theme in particular is because it attracts a lot of attention. There are a lot of bold visual elements here, like these inward pointing arrows. I don't know why they are arrows in the first place, like what are they pointing to? Is there something in the middle that is super important or not? I don't really get it. And on top of that, we have Lua line here, which is styled in a similar way. So we always have these three fixed line at the bottom if we're in Vim. And I think that looks just visually very obtrusive. And also it doesn't really make sense functionally. If you think about it, Tmux just tells you which session you're in and the window that you're currently focusing on. So why would we make it look like it's the most important thing on the screen? And it's very similar for other color themes as well. Like if we go to Cat Puchin or Cat Pushin or Cat Pussin, I don't really know. Never really knew how to pronounce that one. Doesn't really matter, but if we look at this one, it's similar, right? There's a lot of bold visual elements going on. It's just a lot to take in. And in my opinion, for my personal taste, Tmux should be a way more subtle and minimalist thing. So let's configure that now. Now I'm in my tmux config file and I kept all the functional settings here, but I removed all the styling. So all I have here are some color constants that I defined. Those are the colors that I'm going to use. I picked them from the Nord color palette and that's all we have for now. So now let's try to make this look much better. The first thing I want to do is set the position of the tmux status bar to top. And the reason I want to do this is because something that's always bothering me is depending on your window size, there will be a gap underneath your tmux status bar. So if I zoom out, for example, now one step, you can see it created this gap at the bottom here. And this is just way too much for my OCD. And if we just move it to the top, then it will always stick on top and we never have to worry about that. Now let's also rename the session. Let's set it to hello world. And now you can see that it kind of got truncated. It only says hello world. So the next setting I want to apply is give a little more room to the left side of the status so we can fit longer session names. This can be done with status left length. And let's set it to 100. I think the default is 10 or something, so this should be more than enough. Next, let's add some color here. We can do that with the status style option. And then it takes a string that has certain attributes, like foreground for the foreground color. So this is kind of the text color. Let's use the light gray value here. And then we pass another attribute for background. And let's set this as default, which will make the status bar transparent. Cool, then we can tackle the session part of the status bar, which currently says hello world. I want this to be a green text and I want to get rid of these brackets around it. And maybe instead we can put a nice symbol or something, an icon or whatever. So let's do that now. So the property is status left. And then again, we can pass in a string. Then we have certain placeholders. So capital S stands for the session name. Then we can prefix that with style attributes. So here we can apply a dedicated foreground to that session name. And let's make it green soft and also bold. And now let's see if on nerdfonts.com, let's see if we can find a cool terminal icon. So let's search for terminal here. Uh, yeah, I like this one. Let's copy that and paste it in here. All right. And then after the session name, I want a separator separating the session from the windows. But I don't want this pipe to be green and bold because it's just a separator, right? So let's apply some dedicated styling to it. So the foreground of it should be again light gray and then it should be not bold all right cool that looks much better then let's also take care of the right side of the status bar here i just want to see my cpu and memory usage and i actually wrote a plugin for that that gives tmux additional placeholders that can be used and those will be replaced with the respective uh, cpu or memory usage 
but the styling is completely manual as well. So that was kind of the idea. I'll just paste the full setting here. So I also picked up from nerdfonts.com an icon for the CPU and another one for memory. And then, as I mentioned, there are these placeholders that will get replaced with the actual values as long as you have this plugin installed. So yeah, if you're interested in that, check it out. And if not, that's also completely fine. So yeah, let's save this, refresh. And now we get the CPU and memory usage going. And now we can focus on styling the middle part, which is the window indicator. So the windows always come with these asterisk and minus symbols, right? Which shows you the current window and the previous one. And then it actually can also show you if you are zoomed in on a window, there's like a Z character, I believe. But I don't really need that, to be honest. Like, I don't need to see what's my previous window because I always navigate to Windows directly by typing in the, the number that I see. So to me, that is just an unnecessary feature that is visually distracting. So let's actually apply some styling to that now. I think it's window status... Whoa, what happened here? Almost summoned the devil. I meant to say status current format. So this is the style of the current window. So I like this to be in the cyan color. Let's go. And then also it should be bold. And then again, we have some Tmax placeholders that we can use here. So capital I stands for the window number. And then capital W stands for the window name. So let's save this, refresh. Okay, that worked. And I also like to have a visual indicator. Let's look for a dot icon. All right, this looks pretty cool. So let's go back and place it here. And now I also believe it would be a nice visual touch to underline the currently active window. So let's add another style string here put in underscore and there you go. All right, so this is working perfectly, but now we still have the previous window indicator, which you can now see on the third window. So let's add a window status format. So this is all the windows which are not the current one. And here I just wanna pass in the window number and then the window name. And that's it. And now if we refresh, also added a little bit of padding here, then I think that is looking quite clean. Something that we can still improve is the message color. So you see this every time I refresh the config, I get this message and it has this default Tmux yellow background. So this can be changed actually with the message style property. And here I'm just gonna make it also very minimal, just the gray foreground and a transparent background. So now if we refresh, yeah, it doesn't look as visually obstructive. Also, if we have multiple Tmux sessions, let's create one now. So something like session two, and then we go into the session selection menu. We also have this yellow selection indicator. So let's also change that to something nicer. And this can be done with the mode style property. So here I would like for the foreground a dark gray color. So let's select the gray dark. And then for the background, I like to have the blue muted. Okay, let's check. Yeah, so this looks much better and more in line with the Nord color palette. The other thing is what if we have multiple paints here, then we still have the green border style to indicate the current pane, which I think looks okay actually in this context. But personally, I like it much better if this was also a bit more subtle. So the property for this is pane border style. And this I'm gonna set to dark gray. And then we also have the border style for the active one. Pain active border style. And this should be in a medium gray tone. 
All right, let's refresh that. Yeah. All right, now this is way more subtle. And that's really about it. I think this looks amazing, super minimalist, and it blends in very nicely with NeoVim. And also if you're not in NeoVim, it looks also really good. It is subtle and very functional. It has everything I need and nothing more. And it still looks very stylish and one less dependency to worry about. Hope this was helpful and let me know what your philosophy is when it comes to styling, T-Marks and NeoVim and all these things. Are you more of a maximalist that likes to see everything at once or are you also more into like subtle minimalist designs like me?